Welcome to the sixth section of the Mastering Prime Faces video series entitled Developing Graphs and Chart. In this section, we'll be taking a look at various charting components that come packaged with Prime Faces. These components provide enough features to create a fully capable dashboard for displaying data in a graphical manner, making it interactive where needed. All Prime Faces charts are displayed using the P chart component using different data models and attributes to display data in different ways. In this section, we'll take a look at area charts in particular. Looking at the Prime Faces Showcase, you can see that area charts are beneficial for comparing data. Let's start by seeing how we can add an area chart to the Prime Auto Sales application to show sales comparisons for different makes and models of cars. I'll mention ahead of time that all the data will be hard-coded for the purposes of moving things along in this course, but you can always substitute the dynamic data from a database or calculation in your own custom apps. Let's get started. To create an area chart, a line chart model must be developed. The line chart model contains a line chart series for each area that will be plotted on the chart. A line chart series is a set of data. The line chart model then accepts metadata regarding the chart, such as the title, legend, position, access data, and so forth. In the Prime Auto Sales application, let's create a new Manage Bean controller named Sales Chart Controller, and let's make it session scoped. Now, add a private field of type Line Chart Model to the controller class, and name it Sales Chart Model. Resolve the imports now. Let's add a method that will get invoked after the controller is constructed. We will name it init, and it will not return anything, but will invoke a method named create sales model, which we will create next. Annotate the init method with post construct so that it is invoked after class construction. Next, create a public method that returns a line chart model object and name it get sales chart model. This will simply be a getter method to return the line chart model for use in the view. The next step is to create a method that is named create sales model, which returns nothing, but the implementation will be the setup for the sales chart model. First, instantiate a new line chart model and assign it to sales chart model. Next, create the first series of data, which will be named sedan series. We can do this by instantiating a new line chart series and assigning it to sedan series. We want to color in that area, so set the fill on sedan series to true and set the label to sedans. Next, let's add a few sedan names along with numbers to match sales. Now that we've added sedans to the area chart, let's add a truck series. So for the truck series, we do the same as we had with the sedans, and we'll copy the data from a predefined set to speed things up just a bit. Now, let's set up the axis data. To create the axis for comparison, first create an axis field named X and assign a new category axis with the title of cars. Configure accordingly by setting the X axis to sales chart model. To do this, we call get axis on the sales chart model, then call put and pass the axis type dot X as well as the new axis field we created. Next, we create another axis named Y, and we grab that data from the model itself by invoking the model's getAxis method and passing the axis type dot Y. Set the Y axis label of sales and a min value of zero and a max of 50,000. Again, the data is hard-coded here for brevity, but we could read this data from a data source to dynamically create the model in a production scenario. Now that we've created the model, the next thing to do is assign to the pchart component, which we will place into a new view in the admin folder. Let's create this view by right-clicking the admin folder and selecting new, xhtml, and naming it sales dash. To make things easier, copy everything from the other admin view and paste it into sales dash xhtml, overwriting the default code. Now go back and remove the contents of the UI Defined section, as we'll replace them with the new dashboard components. First, add a form and provide an ID of sales dash. Next, let's add a prime basis panel component, 
providing a header of sales charts. Within the new panel, add a P chart component specifying the type attribute as a line, the model attribute as sales chart controller dot sales chart model, and we'll set the height up to 250 px for now. Save the new view and then run the application. Manually load the new view URL into your browser. When the area chart loads, you can see that it performs a good comparison of our data. Also note that if you click on one of the area chart models, sedan or truck, it will become hidden on the chart. So this can be useful if you have many different data models on a particular chart. Let's take a moment and signify the importance of the series data in our chart. If you go back to the sales chart controller and navigate to the create sales chart model method, comment out the lines where we add the truck series to the chart model. Save our progress and then run the application again. As you can see, when you visit the chart, there is no longer any truck data appearing. If we do not add this series to our chart, the data does not exist. Go ahead and uncomment the line and rerun the code once again. And we can see that the world is all good once again and everything is back in order. That does it for the area chart. As you can see, the prime faces chart component and associated data model makes it easy to construct an area chart for performing visual comparisons. Although we created rather basic charts in this section, you should keep in mind that there are a number of attributes that can be set on the charts. For instance, one can set a tooltip, specify shadow, or even specify a zoom feature that could be handy for better comparisons with zooming in on the portions of the chart. I recommend that you play around with the attributes while setting up your models so that you have a chance to see everything that is possible. In the next video, we'll touch upon the bar chart.